Hello, it's Shay. I'm doing an Ulta haul for you guys today. If you didn't know, if you haven't seen my last few makeup tutorials, I scaled back my makeup. I do really minimal looks. I'm a mom now and I stay at home most of the time. So I just felt like my stuff was getting redundant. Not that I don't love, you know, that everyday go-to makeup bag that I put together. Not that I don't love the products, but I feel like you can only see them so many times in videos before you're like, all right, we, we get it, Shaylee. So I wanted to go into Ulta, get some summer stuff that gave my makeup looks just a little more seasonal vibes, you know, glowy, bronzy. I went to the um, drugstore side and I went to the high-end prestige side. So I feel like it's a good little variety for everybody's price point, no matter how much money you like to spend on makeup, there's something in here for you. And um, yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing is this palette from Anastasia. It's the only thing I've opened so far and I just wanted to use it because not only for this video, my husband and I are going on our second date since we had our daughter, she's eight months old, <laughs> we're going tonight. And I don't wear makeup that often like this, so I was thinking I need to use this. A lot of times I stray away from buying new eyeshadow palettes just because I have so many. But like I said, I just was really wanting to switch it up. I felt like I've been so boring with my eyeshadow lately, so I figured some new palettes would inspire me. And I love Anastasia palettes. I really love her eyeshadows. I feel like they're so easy to blend. This palette in particular, these pans are huge. So I felt like it was a really, really good value. I know that purple kind of looks scary it's like the first thing I wanted to put on like if you go like that and cover up the purple look how neutral and summery and pretty and even fall like like you could buy this palette and use it into the fall there's four mattes which I love these three and this one um, and then wisteria the purple is pretty much a matte it has like a little bit of shimmer in it this floor color the like best friend shade that you're gonna use all the time to blend out your eyeshadow is so pretty and just like buttery let's just swatch a few I won't go crazy and do like every single color Liberty this one down here is kind of like an olive olive green gray and then she's got some sparkle this lily color <laughs> that's so gorgeous I don't know if you could see I did I did put a um like soft box light right over there because I have a window here. So I'm not using a ring light or anything. I just wanted you to know so that you can know these are like real life colors. You know, they're not amplified by a ton of ring lights or anything. That's hope. This aisle color. Oh my gosh. What were those eyeshadows called by Makeup Geek? They were the, the foiled eyeshadows. That was like kind of a new thing. If you remember those coming out, now everybody has stuff like that, but that's what these remind me of. Okay, I guess I'll show you this next because I had it covering that purple shadow. This is by Revolution Glow, it says. I think it's by Makeup Revolution. It's called Beam Light Strobe Cream. And this was like three weeks ago that I got all this stuff. So I kind of am like finding it all out new with you guys. So if I take a minute to describe something, that's why. So this just looks like a glowy moisturizer or like strobe cream. Illuminator. It says radiant lightweight moisturizer. Yeah, use before makeup. You could totally mix this in with makeup. You could put it on top of foundation. Products like this, I feel like, are so multi-purpose. You could put this all over your eyes, like, to make it a cream eyeshadow. Really glowy and pretty. You could put it all over right here if you weren't wearing a high neck shirt like me. <laughs> so Morphe had this display that looked all summery, so I walked right over. This is the first thing I got. It is a velvet matte pressed powder bronze show. I want to say they had multiple colors of this too. I actually think they had like a whole line of bronzers if I remember right. So I think I got one of the lighter ones. I usually do. I am pale. I'm rocking the fair skin this summer. I have yet to put on a uh, fake tan this year. Pretty bronzer. This is a really pretty like ambery color. So not orangey, but it is warm and it's going to be good for us fair to light skin girls and it's matte, which is always good and Morphe is affordable, which is great. Also in that section was this, and again, <sighs> eyeshadow palettes, I just look at them like, do I even need to take you home? I have a million of you. I can't even remember what this looks like. Let's pull it back out and see if I should keep it or not because I was extremely impulsive that day as you're gonna continue to see. <laughs> this is called the Gilded Desert 35U. <laughs> I can tell you right now the color I bought this for. <laughs> Are you like that <laughs> with palettes? Like you have so many, but you'll see a certain color and you're like, I want to use that color. I'll just get it. Cause especially with Morphe, they're so affordable. It's like the same as buying a couple high-end eyeshadows. You have so many highlight shades. You have warm, you have that like, you know, red orangey vibe. And then you have cool shades, you have gold. Everything you're going to need is right here for summer and fall. 
I bought it for this bronze and buff color, I can tell you right now. It's like a matte with these sparkles thrown in. You know, it's not like a shimmery eyeshadow. It just has these random sparkles in a matte formula, it looks like. And it's so pretty. I want to... Let's touch it. I like this l lustrous life one, too. Doesn't that look pretty? It's just like a camel brown with a little shimmer in it. I don't know why. I was so excited, but that's beautiful. This one is called Lustrous Life, the other one I showed you. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. Terra Firma, it's like a copper. Mmm, mmm, look at that. I get excited over mattes, like in the dust, that's such a good uh, eye brow color if you're blonde, like a stone color or sandstorm if you're a little bit more like um, gray, like taupey. And I like that it has a black. A lot of palettes don't have a black because, you know, it's kind of boring to put a black in every single palette you make, I'm sure, as a brand. But sometimes I'll, like, go to actually use a black and I can't find one. Sunseeker looks so pretty. That looks like a rich, chocolatey brown. Yeah, that's like a fudge color. That is so pretty. Oh, my legs are asleep. I'm hot. I'm hungry. <laughs> How did I sit and do these long hauls all the time? I'm like four products in. Golden, my daughter, is eating now. So I feel like her and I just like munch all day. We try to make it healthy. But I feel like I've been doing bad lately. I need to do a whole video update on that for you guys. I've kind of gone off the rails on my diet and exercise routine. Make sure you're subscribed. I have a whole playlist about trying to lose weight postpartum. I haven't been doing so great lately. <laughs> Okay, so if you haven't watched my last tutorial, I think it was, I was using the Chanel Cream Bronzer. I love it, it's what I have on today. That's what I was using since I don't have a ton of powder bronzers that really match me. Plus it's just really natural looking because it is a cream. I can't even tell you off the top of my head how much it is, but it's a Chanel product, so I'm assuming it's not cheap. I wanna say it's probably like $50 or more. So I noticed Anastasia, well, and another thing is it only has one or two shades. The one I have is called Universal. I believe they came out with a darker one since I bought mine. Um, but you know that just doesn't really work for most people you know it's not a one-size-fits-all thing skin tones so that always kind of bugged me and Anastasia they have a whole bunch I can't even tell you like probably 10 or more colors of these cream bronzers so when I saw that I thought I'm gonna try one I know it's still a high-end brand but it's definitely gonna be more affordable than Chanel so I grabbed this one to try and it is in the color golden tan here it is so pretty, so pretty. I feel like I don't want to mess it up, but I have to. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Good sign so far, it's nice and soft. <laughs> it's a very pretty color. I'm gonna grab my Chanel one just cause I kind of want to compare just in case you have that too. You know what, I should zoom you guys in. Sorry you're so far away. The one I got is just a little bit darker. So I could have gone a lighter shade, but hopefully I'll get out and go swimming soon and not be this light and it'll totally work for me but like I said there were so many colors and it looks like a similar texture it maybe looks a little bit less flat it has a little more glow to it the Anastasia one where the Chanel one has more of like a powdery finish I've really been wanting to do like a whole cream and liquid tutorial and because I, I never used to wear that kind of stuff and now I do so maybe I'll do one let me know if that's something you'd like to see okay you know I've been talking all about the NARS foundation for this whole entire year I think I bought my first one in February I love it it's the light reflecting foundation I am almost out of it because it's basically all I use I mix it with the taller bottle I always forget the name I forget I think that one's like the radiant long wear but this one is like a medium coverage and I love it so much that I always am mixing it to get a little bit of a darker color because the one I bought is really light and I'm a little darker than I was in February so I went and got a new color so I got the color um, Fiji it'll be nice to just use this and then go in with like that cream bronzer some cream blush and highlight like this uh, glowy stuff you can mix together with it you can do anything I'm gonna make a video I'm gonna do it okay I've been wanting to try this damn Kylie setting powder forever I always get the morphe one it's pink this is called um, soft pink I think she has three or four colors but it's always sold out at my Ulta and I just I would always just grab the morphe one because it's really similar I would imagine um, but I just I grabbed this because my morphe one is running out and I always like to have a backup oh yeah this is a way different color it's like a very very soft pink where like the morphe one is pink so we'll see it's nice and brightening when you have pink in your under eye powder so these days I need that a lot okay I'm just gonna kind of finish out the powders because I got 
three more to talk about. So this first one is the highlight, re it says highlighter reloaded. And there was a couple colors of this. I don't know the name. I don't see like a name anywhere standing out to me, but I remember I grabbed the one that was a little bit more pink. I think they had more of like a gold. It's basically like a glowy highlight. And oh my God, just put this all over your face. Like how can you have a bad day with this all over your face? Look at that. I just feel like if you look glowy, you're gonna help yourself feel glowy on the inside. I don't know. You know my hourglass obsession. Hourglass is expensive for me. Like it's hard for me to go buy their stuff because everything is a little bit pricey, but I'm obsessed with the ambient lighting powders. They are so nice, like so nice. If you wanna go treat yourself, get an ambient lighting powder. I think it's the luminous light that I really like. Um, but I got a bronzer. I got the color Radiant Bronze Light. Oh my God, just like throw all these glowy products on your face. I'm so excited for summer. <laughs> Look at that. It's just like this marbled, beautiful, glowy bronzer. It has these little baby sparkles in it, but they look really nice. It smells so good. And they have a ton of colors of this too. So again, I got one of the lighter ones. Okay, another thing from Makeup Revolution was this uh, loose powder. So it's called Banana Brighten. Again, they had more colors, but I thought, you know, I'm grabbing all this pink light stuff. I'm gonna get a yellowy gold one. So, okay, so this one's really yellow. Do you see that? So for me, I prefer a pink under eye setting powder to brighten, but yellow can be very brightening too. It just kind of depends on your skin tone. If you have really like purpley under eyes, opposites cancel each other out so yellow and purple can really brighten um, but where I would put this is like up more here center of the face and then I'd keep it more pink on here on me personally but I do think that's a really pretty banana color if you like banana powders this is a Clinique concealer they call it now I always try to talk about this and explain why I love it and I feel like I go on forever so I cut it out but I'm explaining it today because I want you to know so I used to work at Mac and so I used to use mainly their products. I'm obsessed with the Radiant Rose Prep and Prime Pen. It's a black thing that looks exactly like this and it's a twist up brush like this. You would put that on as concealer if you wanted a really light concealer or you could even use it as a color corrector, kind of like a pink powder would do. You could do it with a liquid. So they took it off the website. Mac likes to do that and not tell anyone what they're doing. So it's like, is it gone? Is it discontinued? Are we are we getting it back? And it was gone forever. So I found this and I really love it. It's like a similar dupe for sure. It's very close. Sorry, it's new, so I have to do this. This has a couple colors, by the way. I get the lightest one. But MAC put Radiant Rose back up on the website. So now you can just go buy Radiant Rose and I probably will just stock up on them because I can buy that cheaper than this because I have a discount from my Cosmo license. But if you don't have a discount or if you just like Clinique, or if the other one's out of stock again, when you go ask your Mac counter, this is almost the same thing. And it's just like one of those favorite products I always keep in the rotation is a pink highlighter. This is my favorite lip liner. It's called Beige from NYX. I show it in every single Ulta haul, so I'm not gonna open these because honestly, I still have them all over the place. It's in my car, it's in my purse, it's in my vanity here. I'll grab it and show you this one. Taupey pink nude, is that showing? It is just my favorite color. It's like my favorite lip liner and these are under, I think $6, I think they're $5.49. In one of my recent videos, I was talking about a blush brush. This is it, the shape is just perfect. So I thought I'll have one for bronzer. I have one for blush, that's what I use today. But do you see, like this can just fit right in here for bronzer too, contour. It's just really nice and little. It's just like a little angled chisely cheek brush and I love it so much and it's again, Morphe so it's cheap. Okay, we have glitter and then we have setting sprays and we're done. We all know about these, the heavy metal liners from Urban Decay. I haven't worn these in a million years, but I went before 4th of July to get this and I thought I was gonna bring it on my trip. We, I just went camping, but I thought how cute we could like put this on all the little girls and I totally forgot to bring it, but I didn't get gold. I got Starfire, which is a little bit more copper. And that's another cool thing you can do if you're like, you know, barely any skin makeup, just bronzy, glowy, and then like put a winged line of glitter with some big lashes, like spend time on your mascara. And that's such a pretty look with like an unexpected little flare. I just think things like that are so fun. I keep having to refocus the camera if you see my hand. But yeah, isn't that a pretty color? It's kind of gold. Last things last three sprays. <laughs> This first one, my friend Cassie said I needed. This is the St. Maurice, M-O-R-I-Z, Advanced Pro Formula Radiant Glow Face Mist. So 
she I think said she gets like out of the shower or done washing her face and it's like a self tan you just spray it on your face and your chest and so yeah I've been using the Saint Tropez drops right now you just mix them into your formula your mo your moisturizer I don't know why I said formula um, and it's really a nice product I really like it but this is what she uses and she's like a tanning queen so I figured I would try it out I do like the idea that it sprays because you can kind of spray it like on your shoulders and stuff and you don't have to mix it into anything get it on your fingers you could just do a quick little ch -ch -ch. the last two things are morphe setting sprays so I always get the black continuous setting mist this is just like a summer version it's coconut bliss mm, scent this one has a good sprayer on it I feel like it's like coming at me so I should have got two of those and then I've never tried this this that one is like a skin finish this is a luminous setting spray by Morphe so it says glow get it with coconut water glycerin and apple extract so I feel like this is kind of like fix plus because glycerin was the big ingredient it has like chamomile rose water glycerin I think all that stuff is in fix plus from Mac if you're familiar with that so it's like more of a glowy finish so Mm, that smells nice too so we'll try it out i'll let you guys know i like more of a glow this time of year that's everything thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video like i said i'm going to be doing some makeup with all this stuff some makeup videos with all this stuff and i'm really excited so let me know what you want to see below if you have like a certain look you want to see if you have a certain product you want to see please let me know down below also let me know what your favorites for summer are i'll probably make a summer favorites video soon too just like old stuff that i use every single year in the summer but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and like i've said it again like three times i will see you soon